John Alfred Presswich. He was born September 1, 1874 in the London suburb of Kensington. His father was an inventor himself and he was a member of the Royal Society, members of the photography, and he was the inventor of the gas lit paper, which he later sold, to, sold it to Kodak Eastman for 1,000 pounds. However, John, he inherited his father's inventing skills and he became a much greater inventor than his father. However, he inherited those skills from his papa. As a schoolboy, John had a great aptitude for mechanics and draftsmanship. He went to the London School and the Guild School. John was just a scholar. He received a scholarship for his academic studies. After school, John went to work for a London-based electronics company. They specialized in electronics Three, and scientific two, equipment. One. In 1895, cinematography came in existence. And John, he had a great love. He had a great fascination for that. And it became the thing that could use this movie projector for entertainment and movies and also educational purposes. Press which he went down that path. He started making his own movie cameras and equipment, projectors, and he just was fascinated with the movie industry. He had bought a building at number three Lansdowne in Tottingham, England. Tottingham, England. And he used that as a manufacturing base for his camera equipment, his movie projectors. He started a factory. His fame grew and grew because he made excellent products. John Presswich, he was a very gifted person. There was a big expedition by a gentleman by the name of Scott in Antarctica. And they used the Presswich camera. Why? Because it was good. For some reason, he veered off the movie cameras. He got, I think he got tired of it or something. He probably saw some growth in the motorcycle industry. So he got out of the motion picture camera making. He was good at that too. And he decided that he would take another route. Maybe he saw a future, was very bright also in the motorcycle world. So he got into motorcycle engines. He started designing and creating them. The initials of his name is J.A.P. That's John Alfred Presswich. And if you see the initials carved in the casings of one of the motorcycles, you'll know that particular motorcycle it came from Mr. Presswich. The company of J.A. Presswich LTD was invented, was begun 1895. 1901 was the first motorcycle that we could find from Presswich, and he engraved the initials J.A.P. on that motorcycle case. 1904 to 1908, Presswich, he made these 293cc motorcycle engines. They were excellent. You know, everything he did was excellent quality from the projectors to the motorcycle engines. Everything was precision. Everything was perfect. And it was so good that the Triumph Motorcycle Company, Triumph, they went ahead and they purchased the rights to make those 293cc motorcycles. And Presswich, he sold those rights to Triumph. 1905-1906, Presswich, he made this V-twin. It was two of the engines and they were really good. It had a great power band and he invented that V-twin for the motorcycles and it became a very big success. In the aviation world, they used those V-twins in the airplanes because of the excellent weight to ratio performance. And those V-twins became popular in many airplanes. 
In short, John Alfred Presswich was a genius. He was a master at making these engines. He was good. And he became in high demand and everyone started to learn about him. Why? Because of his high quality, his workmanship. In other words, Presswich was a gift from God. These early day engines by Presswich were so popular, they became in such high demand that countries such as France and Germany, they wanted those Presswich engines and they shipped them to these different countries in Europe. They probably copied them. They probably tore those engines apart, checked out how Presswich made such a nice engine. <laughs> these V-twins were very popular. They were used in the sidecars called Morgan in its day and they were really good. And Everybody liked those engines in their cars. It's like a three-wheel car, I guess. It was like a sidecar, but I think it was a car. And they went ahead and they made a water-cooled vision version of that V-twin. They made water-cooled. That was quite inventive for its time. <laughs> Presswitz just kept making things. He was just a creative mind. He was a genius. I wonder how he got all those smarts. Probably from his papa. But he, he veered off to other avenues, such as generators, and he was making water pumps, hay lifts for the agriculture. He was milking machines for the cows and other uses in the agricultural world. He was a genius. After studying a little bit about this gentleman, he just definitely thought outside the box. You know, most inventors, they, they think in the box. You know, they just think of one invention and that's it. Presswitch, he went from one invention to another invention to another invention. I mean, this guy was insane. This guy was incredible. And his mind was excellent. <laughs> when World War II broke out, Presswitch, he stopped making those motorcycle engines and he moved on to those V-twins made them for the airplanes. He created over 225,000 of those V-twins in his factory there in Tottenham, England. And he was a big factor for England defeating the Germans in World War II. Also, he created over a million parts for those engines. He had to have parts for those airplane engines, right? And the British Air Force, they used all the parts from Presswich. And I'm sure that he was no friend of Adolf Hitler because his planes were very powerful and they really combated those German Nazis very well. John Alfred Presswich, an amazing mind. This guy was incredible. And this is the end of episode one. We're gonna do episode two next. That's gonna be the Speedway bikes. We're gonna talk about his world of racing and Speedway. It was big and it was amazing. So thank you so much. And we're gonna see you. We're gonna see that motorcycle and you. We're gonna see you next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today talking about Presswitch and his incredible mind, his incredible inventions. And if you like the content of this channel, you get some value, please subscribe and like this show. We make motorcycle shows, speedway shows, and lots of different kinds of shows.